Hey, welcome back, and uh, today we're going to be showing you guys how to get photogrammetry into your X-Plane simulators. So a couple things that you will need. You will need a Blender, uh, Blender Blossom for Blender, the add-on, uh, the Google API key for the photogrammetry to get it into Blender, and the World Editor, and also X-Plane's Blender. Uh, the thing I won't be going over installing is the Google API key, since that's a bit of a tutorial on its own i'll link a, a video in the description to get that but it should be under five minutes um the two add-ons that you will need for blender are blossom and explain blender explain sorry explain to blender and a um mac combiner to get started first of all you need to download uh, blossom if you go to the blossom github page which i'll link in the description there should be instructions on how to install it into blender uh, I still am a bit of a beginner to Blender, so this should be fairly easy to follow. Uh, but let's go ahead and get started. So first of all, um, we're going to go ahead and get into Blossom right away. So in order to get the photogrammetry in the first place, you need to Google API key, which will be linked in the description. So if you don't have that already, go ahead and go to that YouTube video on how to get the Google API key, then come back to this video. And if you already have the Google API key, you can go ahead and get started. So what you'll do, there will be a little, uh, uh, there'll be a little uh, side, little thingy here that you can pop out. It'll bring out this entire uh, toolbar here. You'll press Blossom, and then you'll press Select, and then it'll uh, bring up this map here. So what you can do, I'm pretty sure this works for the entire world, but pretty much what you can do here is you can just go anywhere in the world. So we'll say Atlanta, for example. Uh, we'll do uh, already did this area, so we can do something like. Uh, so what we'll do here, we'll probably just do a Georgia Tech here in Atlanta. So we'll do this in a bit of like this, kind of like this entire campus right here. So we'll uh, put that. So what I recommend, I don't recommend going over two kilometers by two kilometers. It'll take a long time for Blender to uh, to uh, render all that. So I, I recommend less than two kilometers by two kilometers. So once you do that, you'll just press copy, you go back into Blender. Uh, here in the Blossom tab, you'll press paste and 3d tiles google and uh the lod is up to you just know the more lod that you want the uh longer it will take so for now we'll just do separate buildings so we can uh, get this tutorial out and uh, uh get it faster so once you do that you just do import and then it may take a while depending on the lod that you picked and how big you wanted the um how big you wanted your photogrammetry tile to be all right and once the uh, blender unfreezes and the blue button is gone you can just scroll out and you might have a view distance issue so you just come to the view tab and just max that out all right and then you'll see everything is silver or grayish you'll just come to the top right and press viewport shading and there it is there you go just take a nice all right, so what we'll do is we'll come to Met Combiner down here, and then we will uh, come all the, oh, sorry, come all the way down to the last app, Properties and Atlas. We'll put it to Automatic, and then we'll check these two boxes, and we'll put this last box to three. All right, and once you do that, you just press Save Atlas Two, and then you give it a second; it'll just pop up with this window. You can pretty much uh, save this anywhere you want, but what you're gonna want to do is create a new folder. We'll say, uh, say this is GA Tech. All right, we're going to GA Tech, and uh, we can just create the Atlas in this uh, folder here. And wait for that to save. Blender is going to freeze, and just give it a second. All right, and once uh, Blender is done on freezing, we'll come up to the top left. We will come up here and Image Editor. You'll press this little uh, uh, icon at the top, and then Atlas is 001, and then. Uh, and then you can just press image and then save. And once that's saved, you can press save as. And then it will take you back to where you save your Alice. You will just save as and then just save it as the same image. So just save as image. All right. And then um, pretty much we're done over here. You'll go back to the top 3D, 3D viewpoint, sorry, or view uh, viewport. And um, all we can do now is we can start making this into a obj file to put into explain so what we can do now 
is we can move this 3D tile up to collection. And then we go to scene, scroll down to X plane, and then you see where it says other collections. We'll press that collections root collections, and then we'll uh, turn, put, put this down a little bit. So the name, you can just put any name. Um, like I said, this is GA Tech. Good tech, for tech. The type of uh, scenery this is, it is a scenery object. And pretty much other than that, we should be good. If we and I had a little problem uh, exporting the OBJ. So what you wanna do is make sure that you go up to file and then save. And then once you save, it'll ask you where to save it. And then you'll just put wherever you wanna save the uh, project. You just wanna save it there. And then you press export OBJs. And then once um, Blender is done freezing, you can go to the folder and let's see, we got GA Tech here. So you don't have to do this, but I'm gonna do it for organization purposes. I'm just gonna put GA Tech in here. So we have our OBJ file and we still have our uh, PNG file or our uh, Atlas here. So what we're gonna do now what we're gonna do now we're just gonna uh, first of all let's go ahead and uh, rename this to text.ga tech so literally just a uh, texture or tax tex dash ga tech or whatever the name for this obj file is and also we'll go on the obj file and uh, once that loads we'll just add an extra line texture -E -E texture and we'll wait for that to load it's gonna be texture space then text dash whatever just this entire um oh then i mean to open that just this entire thing and then don't forget the dot png oh whoa no dot png all right and let's get rid of that because and just to make sure that it looks good. All right, we'll save it. All right. If we go to our explain tool of custom scenery, go here, show more options, add a new folder. We'll say GA Tech. GA Tech. Or you can name it whatever you want. But we'll put these folders inside. And now we need to boot up a uh, world editor. So let's do that. And then once you're in here, you just uh, find here it is, GA Tech. There we go. And then you just go local, GA Tech. All right, and once you get into World Editor, you'll just come here, press local, and then press G uh, whatever the name you put. And then uh, it'll be here. Make sure you zoom in, make sure everything is right. Looks good, looks good. Georgia Tech looking nice. So what you'll do is, we're already here in Atlanta, so we'll just uh, find where Georgia Tech uh, is here. So it looks about right, yeah, right here. We can match up that building with this one. So we'll just go ahead and place it here, place it down, nice. All right. And then what we pretty much have to do here is just uh, match it up with, sorry, match it up with, uh, with uh, the world here. So we're just trying to match this up. So it looks like we need to come down a lot here belt right here actually looks nice but other than that that looks about right the only thing left to do or there's actually two things left to do uh is to match up this uh with the ground so basically this is a bit of a hard part so what we're gonna do is we're for the elevation mode we're build above ground level so and let's just test some of this stuff out so let's go negative 200 so like like this, if we go negative two hundred, it's still gonna be it's gonna be very high up in the air. Um, I'll show you guys what that looks like if we don't if we didn't change the elevation at all with another photogrammetry uh, uh, tile that I tried for Atlanta. But basically, what you want to do is just want to keep going down until basically like that. We don't want to see that. So we'll go through fifty. It's a little, a little hard to explain it. We'll go three hundred. So some buildings start to come out. We'll go to about two seventy. 270 uh, probably about 250 maybe 240 so yeah 240 seems about it to where it's just above uh, elevation so this looks this looks good I like that oh right. I'll probably do it 
and the next thing we need to do is um, the exclusion zones so I believe if we just do this this and this is mandatory as well here and here there we go so basically what this does is that this will take out all like overlays so like no buildings sticking out of the uh, photo geometry or anything like that so we'll want objects facades uh draped polygons and uh road networks can go as well so that that all that can go all right so once uh once you're done with that you're pretty much done if we go here to we'll make sure to save this and then export to scenery for x plane 12. now this thing should uh or you'll also get this warning when messing with the uh with the height but you can wave warnings to proceed and almost done here if we go to our explain 12 folder and we go to custom scenery and let's go ahead and copy where is it ga tech go to our scenery packs we'll bring it over here for you we'll just copy that we'll copy another one copy this j tech copy that boom so basically just add it to your scenery i and i the uh scenery that we just created so if you just press save and then exit out of that uh and we're pretty much done from there we can exit out of this and we can uh go ahead and boot up x plane all right so as you can see it has worked and sorry for the uh for the expo lag here has been happening for a few days and we're going to fix that but as you can see the photo game tree has worked uh, with a little bit of a the rosy connect some fixing up the mechanism we can fix up in the uh, uh wed so it looks like uh, it's still above ground a little bit which will also need some work but other than that it looks about right it looks uh, pretty decent here in the uh, uh simulator except the trees uh, on the I forgot what those are for. And also some other scenery here I made for a uh, photo adventure. Can I explain? The uh, Mercedes Benz City. Which looks pretty nice. That as well, I believe, has some uh, terrain problems that I have to fix. But other than that, it looks really, really nice. But these are very low LODs, so that's why they uh, pretty much don't look uh, great <laughs> whatsoever. But with higher LODs, if you do have the time, you can make some uh, pretty good, uh, nice looking for the entry for uh, x -Men. But other than that, if you like the video, if you have any problems, make sure to uh, comment. If you like the video, uh, make sure to like and subscribe if you can. Uh, uh, that's it.